Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching. So today's video is going to actually be three different lazy bun styles. Um, this is my first like hair tutorial video, so I was really excited to record it. I normally wear extensions, so I can't really like, I feel like I'm not that versatile when it comes to doing my hair when I have extensions in because I'm really like limited on the way that I can do my hair, especially like fun hairstyles like this on a day I just want to like run out the door. I feel like, you know, with my real hair, it's just like easier to do. So I've been thinking about recording a video like this for quite some time now and since I've been wearing my real hair for about a week and a half I thought it was the perfect time to do so if you guys have not subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button now so you don't miss any future videos and if you want to see how I get these three lazy bun styles then please keep watching so first you're gonna need a wide tube brush a rubber band or twisty hair tie a rat tail comb of some sort and then a hard bristle brush and also some edge control any type that works for you so this is just my hair, like how it's been every day. I typically like wear it straight or I might put it up in a ponytail. But this is my hair kind of like on its last legs. So what's a girl to do when she's down to her last resort for hairstyles? So for the first hairstyle, I guess I'm going to call this like two top knot buns or pigtail buns. I don't know, but whatever you want to call it works for you. So first I started out with the middle part and it doesn't have to be like super straight. This is like a messy bun tutorial and I'm going to just kind of part it halfway in the back of my head as well and just kind of bring that ponytail up to the very front or like center of my head. And you can add as much hair as you like. I kind of like mine to be a little bit on the thinner side. Just because my hair is thick, I can get away with having less hair in the ponytail holder. So I'll just apply this little rubber band or twisty tie about three times and pull it kind of taut, but not too taut. And um, the goal or like the key here is to bring the hair forward first and then wrap it around because that's going to make it like stay up high and just like really cute and funky. Now you can grab a bobby pin and then just kind of stick it in and make it a little messy however you want to. And so that's like the end goal, right? Like this messy top knot bun type of look. Um, as I was doing my next side, my other bun like kind of started coming down. So don't worry about that. I'm going to fix it like once I finish with this one. But I'm going to do the same thing here. Just kind of bring up the same amount of hair and then put on my twisty tie and tied around about three times it's not going to be that tight but enough to make it a secure and I'm just going to do the same exact thing that I did on the first side So I think this is like a fun look if you're just like going out, running errands, or even like going to hang out with your girlfriends. Like it's something fun and kind of laid back. And it's very quick. Like this literally took me like two to three minutes to throw these ponytails up. And next, if you want to get those baby hairs on Faliki, you can apply some edge control. Now, I normally use um, the Happy Edges, but I found this olive oil stick in Walmart before we went out of town. And... This is heaven sent. It's only like 0 0.03 ounces or something because it doesn't last that long, but it's definitely great for traveling purposes. And I'm just going to use that hard bristle brush and just kind of brush down my baby hairs, but nothing too fancy. Just kind of get it neat. And that is the final look for the top knot pigtail buns. <laughs> And as you can see in the back, like it doesn't have to be straight, but even if I was trying to get it straight, I wouldn't have been able to get it straight. So whatever works for you again. So once you take these down, you can literally just go right into the next hairstyle. You don't have to worry about reparting, just comb everything out. And this is going to be like a top knot bun, half up, half down. And another thing to take away here is that you want to bring that bun to the very top of your head so that it stays secure once again you don't want it to droop or fall back that's just not cute so the further to the front you bring it the better and what I like to do is just like I get like I said wrap it around the front and then apply a bobby pin in the back to keep it tight and secure and then just kind of style it to your liking I just kind of pull mine out to make it a little bit loose 
and I'll go ahead and apply another bobby pin to secure it one more time and this is the completed look for the half up half down top and out bun So now for the final look, I'm just going to take this down and then kind of comb out my hair again. But this time I'm going to be doing a top knot bun. Very top of the head. This is like probably one of the most common hairstyles on a lazy day that I think girls go to. It's so easy and super cute and it's so versatile. You can dress this up or down. As you can see, I was going for like a casual look today. But you just want to make sure that you brush it up really tight in the back so that if you do have flyaways, they're all kind of coming around from like your edges and not actually like falling from your ponytail because that's not cute. Again, I want to bring the ponytail up to the front of my forehead really high so that it's cute, high, and secure. I just love it when it's like really high and it's not like drooping down. Like that's not cute. So what I like to do is kind of like twist my hair into like a little twisty knot thingy and then I'll bring it around to the front and just kind of secure it down again with the bobby pins and just kind of style it to your liking the tighter you make that twist like the more firm your bun is going to be i opted for like a loose twisty tie type of thing so um it came out like this and i really loved it and this is actually how i went ahead and wore my hair for the remainder of the day because i just thought this went perfect with my outfit and it's just like the perfect go-to so this is the top knot bun the most common bun in the world if you're a girl but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is my first hair tutorial video. I mean, it's really easy, but I was had so much fun doing it. If you guys like these type of videos, please give me a thumbs up. And let me know what you want to see in the comments down below. Subscribe to my channel. Love you guys. And until my next upload, I'll see you very soon. Kisses. Well, guys, this completes my three lazy up styles that I kind of tend to go to when I don't feel like doing my hair. As you can see, I'm wearing like my natural hair and I feel like when I have my natural hair, I just have like a more versatility when it comes to different hairstyles. Although I love wearing extensions, I just feel like sometimes I'm really restricted and like limited on the type of hairstyles I can wear. As you can see, like I will never be able to get a top knot bun like this and I really do like having, you know, multiple options. So if you guys enjoy these type of videos, give me a thumbs up and let me know what you like to see next. This is my first like type of hair tutorial video and I had a lot of fun doing it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and until my next upload i'll see you guys very soon thanks for watching